There he is, boys! Alright, we are on 6-2 of heresy. Let's do this shit. Aesthetics of hate. Limbo. Lust. All gone. With gluttony soon to follow. Your kind know nothing but hunger, purged all life on the upper layers, and yet they remain unsatiated. As to you, you've taken everything from the machine, and now all that remains is perfect hatred. Oh, baby. There he is, boys! Playing a freaking organ. Looks like an organ from here. Okay, we gotta break out the boss slayer 2.0. You know how it is. God, man, I got goosebumps. Oh, it's homing. Fuck, man. Take three, take three. Ah, I tried to parry it. Yo, that's badass. He has like dual swords now. Fuck, I needed to hit that. Fuck, I don't think you can parry that one. Do that or I'm just messing up the timing. Oh my god. Oh, you can! Hell yeah, get fucked. More damage, baby. Come on. We're having the same problem we did the first time. Not enough damage output. I'm like leaning to the right because I'm moving to the right so damn much. I'll show you. 
Okay, so I can't I can't touch those little swords orbiting him. Fuck, if I get the timing down on that, he's done. Can't get the timing down. Oh, baby. Fuck, man, we almost had him. This is the kill. This is it. Settling it all right. Okay, now I can't go close to him. Now he's got those sword orb. Fucking shit! Oh wow, now he's now he's called Gabriel Apostle of Hate. That's fucking sick. Alright, we keep getting super close. We just need to hit that drill like one more time and he's donezo. Fuck, too early, way too early. And we just sent him into orbit, holy shit. <laughs> okay, I need to save it for whenever I need to heal. To the left, not the right. To the left, not the right. It's like whenever I try to do it, I fuck it up, but whenever I'm not trying to do it is whenever I hit it. <laughs> Shit. 
shit, man. I keep getting him like 25% health left. Panicking. There we have it, boys. We did it. Twice. Beaten by an object. Twice. I've only known the taste of victory, but this taste. Is this my blood? <laughs> I've never known such... such relief. I... I need some time to think. We will meet again, machine. May your woes be many. And your days few. Damn, so he still wants us to die. Holy crap, that was an epic fight, man. That was dope to see him again. That dual sword shit he had was fucking awesome. So we're, we might see him a third time, it sounds like. It almost sounded like he wants to die by what he was saying about tasting his own blood. Oh, hit him into the ceiling. That was a challenge. <laughs> whenever I said we sent him into orbit, that's whenever we did it, I guess. Silence. Introspection. How many had he killed? Had he ever thought to count? How much cruelty did he embody, and to what end? How many did he condemn to hell, and who did it benefit? Two defeats at the hand of the machine had changed Gabriel. The world of the once supposed will of God was now shattered and only he was left to put the pieces back together. They collected before the light of a dying fire that fresh fuel couldn't sustain, this new light showing the truth to Gabriel. The pieces never fit together to begin with. The supposed council of the people who boasted a God that wasn't there Yo, Gabriel's losing faith, man. He's losing faith in the council. Gone. Vanished. The council still chased after the light of God's fire. Their memory of its words and will grown twisted and warped. And the rest of the aimless masses of heaven followed their footsteps. The angels still act in their father's name, but his kingdom has changed. Now the fire was dying, sputtering out as the heat failed to gain purchase. Gabriel looked upon the embers with the perfect clarity. He drew his blade and held it in contrast to the dying light. In its reflection he saw a weapon reborn, no longer wielded by the will of another, but his own. Oh, so Gabriel's going rogue, man. He's a lone wolf now. He's not part of this council. He's following his own path. He knew words alone could never sway the masses. He chose to do something drastic. Drastic? Oh, <laughs> Gabriel's gonna go wild. Death stains the auditorium. The auditorium? The littered corpses of the once mighty council now strewn against its surfaces. Their last gasp of life dripping down the descendant blade of Gabriel's sword. Oh my gosh, there's blood everywhere. The council guy's just falling back, begging for his life. God damn. Gabriel must be a badass, man, because look, the council guy looks just like Gabriel, so I wonder if he has, like, basically superpowers like Gabriel does. And if Gabriel's powerful enough to kill this whole council by himself, 
Holy crap, Gabriel's powerful. And we just defeated Gabriel twice. So how powerful does that make us? Are we a god? <laughs> Jeez, man. The last counselor, now backed up to a wall, scrambles for words between panicked breaths as death approaches with measured steps. Well, wait! You, you can't do this! Our status forbids it! This is treason! Heresy! Murder! We are the supreme authority! Our law commands you! You command nothing. Your words hold no power over me, or anyone else. Lest you truly believe you can talk my blade back into its sheath. But, but the people are on our side! The citizens of heaven know that we are just! The masses only follow you out of fear and desperation. I will show them there is nothing to be afraid of. For there is no species nor origin, vested rank or holy status that will stop the sharp edge of a sword. Damn, Gabriel's just like, I'm in charge now. He's taking the hat. We all bleed the same blood, and the cushions of your thrones have made you weak and imp impotent. P please, Gabriel, see reason. The council follows the will of the father. You seek to go against our create, face it, brother. God is dead. The fire is gone. You're chasing phantoms. So the council still has faith in this god, but I'd imagine they're only doing that to try to maintain control over Gabriel and this uh, aimless mass in heaven that Gabriel says they are. And Gabriel says, I'm done with this shit. I'm taking control. I'm doing my own thing. Gabriel's silhouette now towers over the counselor, his shadow cast upon a soon lifeless corpse. He raises his sword for the final cut as the crying mess on the floor stammers out its final feeble argument. But, but the father's light! Without me, you cannot hope to reconnect with it. If you kill me, you'll be dead in a matter of hours. I know. A clean, silent cut glides through the counselor's neck, severing his spine with elegance and ease. His head falls upon the marble floor. The rest of his body follows soon after. Bereaved of status, but brimming with purpose, Gabriel gave a final message to the angels amassed at the gates of the auditorium before leaving heaven for the very last time. His arm outstretched. Without a word, the people saw. In the silence, the message rang out in the far ends of the cosmos. Yeah, he's... He's just got the counselor's head. Look at all the people in the background. Holy crap. Act 3, Godfist Suicide. So it's official, Gabriel went rogue, and he said he'd be dead within hours. So does this mean God's gonna come and try to kill him? This makes me think that in the future we're gonna end up teaming up with Gabriel to take down some type of godlike creature, which would be fucking badass to say the least. And well, as you guys can see by that on the screen, that is the end of Act 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, maybe think about subscribing. And I really hope to see you in the next one. And don't forget, we're streaming on Friday. If you want to come and check it out, that'd be awesome. If not, hopefully I'll catch you in the next video yet again. Peace!